In Nepal today, a constitution hangs in the balance. Lawmakers have been meeting in the building behind me in order to hammer out a constitution. However, as the deadline for the constitution approaches, the scene has turned into chaos. Uh, this week, uh, lawmakers um, resorted to violence, throwing chairs, breaking desks, and trying to rush the stage in order to halt the vote uh, that would pass the constitution. Minority party leaders also called for a nationwide shutdown or bond in order to protest the constitution. The heart of the issue lies at the fact that there's a two-thirds majority of an alliance of the Congress Party and the United Communist Party of Nepal, the Leninist Marxist faction, uh, at the former two-thirds majority. They have the necessary votes to pass through the Constitution, however minority parties are prote protesting this, saying that this would not be a Constitution that's owned by all of Nepal. As the minority parties called for a nationwide protest, the entire country shut down for several days. Protesters, protesters took to the streets, uh, making sure that all traffic was stopped, making sure that businesses were shut down, and they even burned several vehicles to ensure that all traffic was stopped. Uh, however, as the deadline approaches, many in Nepal are fearing that a constitution will not be produced. This is Nepal's second attempt at passing a constitution. The first one, which was elected in 2008, failed to do so. In the coming days, lawmakers are meeting, trying to reach a consensus, trying to reach a compromise that would allow them to pass the constitution. This is Stephen Groves and Jose Diaz for Grassroots News International.